it's Nikki. Now I know our summer gatherings have been looking a little bit different this year. But no matter how many people you have gathered around your table, now more than ever, it is so important to celebrate the little things. So today I am sharing some simple summer recipes to help even the smallest gathering be something special. So if you are new here and you like decorating, cooking, DIY, and planner videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. This is my favorite anytime salad, but it is especially good in the summertime when you can use your fresh tomatoes and basil from your garden. Now all the details to the recipes that I'm going to be sharing today are going to be listed in the description box down below. You will need tomatoes, of course, and some fresh mozzarella. I picked up this pre-sliced mozzarella at the grocery store. You're also going to need some fresh basil and some fresh spring mixed greens. We usually pick up one of these really large containers of mixed greens at Costco. Now a container this size will last us throughout the week for salads with dinner or for lunch and to use on sandwiches. So to put this salad together, make a bed of mixed greens on a nice large tray. Now you could just use the tomatoes, cheese, and basil for your traditional caprese salad, but I like to use the mixed greens because I think it adds more flavor. Next, you're just going to stack your sliced tomatoes and mozzarella cheese, adding the chopped basil leaves in between. This salad just looks really beautiful and is always great on your table. You can serve this at every meal throughout your day too. It is great at brunch, you can have it as your lunch, or it goes well with any dinner, whether it be for a holiday or just a regular Saturday. The dressing for this is really simple. Now, I usually make my own Italian dressing with a mixture of olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and Italian seasonings, but you can also use a balsamic vinegar glaze that you can find at Costco or at the grocery store, or of course you can make your own balsamic reduction. So every summer picnic really does require a really good dip. And this is my take on that traditional layered Mexican dip. I literally made this every week when I was pregnant with my youngest son. This was my most favorite thing to binge on in those last few months. For this recipe, you're going to need a really nice deep dish to put it in. Then you're going to need one packet of taco seasoning. I usually use the medium spice, but this is the one that I had on hand. You'll need some shredded cheddar cheese, a can of refried beans, some fresh salsa, some store-bought or homemade guacamole, a six ounce container of sour cream, a can of chopped black olives, some chopped lettuce, grape tomatoes, and spring onions. I think we have all made our own versions of this recipe over the years. All you do is layer everything in your dish. I like to add a few tablespoons of salsa to my sour cream and taco seasoning mixture. I think it just adds a little bit of spice and fresh flavor. Once everything is all assembled, you just stick it in the refrigerator for a few hours and then it's good to serve. So I am filming today's video on the 4th of July and it has been such a strange day. We usually spend the morning at our huge hometown parade and we end the day with some awesome fireworks in our local park with everybody all gathered around. This year everything has been canceled and we are spending it here at home with just four out of the seven of us. Although it may seem a little strange, I think that it is well worth it to keep everyone healthy and safe, and I think it really makes you appreciate the time that you have with the people that you love the most.
I think summer is for keeping things as simple as possible. And this Mexican dip goes right along with that idea. This dish makes everyone smile when I bring it out. And it's the first one that makes its way out of the refrigerator at night to get finished off. This next recipe is really great if you are getting a little tired of all those summer pasta salads. We call it picnic potatoes, but they are really just basically roasted sweet and red skin potatoes. This is one of those recipes that is made even better if you have some fresh rosemary and thyme from your garden to put on top. So what you're going to need for this recipe is a few large sweet potatoes and several red skin potatoes. Now this really depends on pretty much how many people you are going to be having. This is just for the four of us here at home with hopes of having, you know, a few leftovers for tomorrow. You're also going to need a large 9 by 13 pan, some chopped onions, garlic, olive oil, and a whole collection of seasonings that I am going to list down for you in the description box. Just chop up your sweet and red skin potatoes and add them to your large baking dish. Add your chopped onion and crushed garlic and then you can add your seasonings. You know, salt and pepper, Mrs. Dash. I also like to add rosemary, thyme, basil, and a little bit of dried parsley. Now over top of everything, you're going to pour about a quarter of a cup of olive oil, if not a little more. You just want to make sure that you mix everything really well with a spoon so that everything is coated with oil so that it all cooks evenly. Then you can bake it either uncovered, I like to cover mine with aluminum foil, and bake in a 425 degree oven for about 35 to 50 minutes, stirring halfway through. You can't have a good barbecue without some baked beans and we have always experimented, you know, adding a bunch of different ingredients to make our beans a little bit different every time. I always start off with Bush's baked beans. They're our favorite. And today I'm going to add some crushed pineapple. I'll probably only use about a half of this large can, some barbecue sauce, any kind will do, and a little bit of brown sugar and some minced onion. We have added things like French's French fried onion rings, molasses, cooked ground sausage, and even peaches. They all make a great different baked bean recipe. This recipe is really simple because you can add just about whatever you want into the beans, mix them all up really well, cover with foil, and I like to bake it in about a 425 degree oven for a half hour or so, and then I remove the foil and bake an extra 10 minutes just until the top is a little bit caramelized. So this is the spread that we are having today. I also have some great big bison burgers and hot dogs on the grill. We are going to have a nice quiet 4th of July celebration. These recipes have all become our family favorites and it's something that we look forward to throughout the summer months. I think the most important thing to remember is the time spent with family and serving your family's favorite recipes is a way to bring comfort and to make some sweet summer memories. We shared Rebecca's apple pie recipe in a recent video. I'm gonna leave that link up above and down below for you. It is really a good one and you're gonna to wanna to give it a try. So thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you'll add some of these really simple recipes to your next barbecue. Now I am planning another Q&A clean with me video. So if you have a question for me or even just a special video request, I would love for you to leave it in the comments section down below. If you are new here, join our Bashful Life community over on Facebook. We really do have a great time down in the comments and you might come away with a couple great ideas or a recipe or two. Please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other and stay safe and I will see you again soon. Bye. Stay